Hello, everybody. A lot of things are happening here today. Um, so, I'm currently making some notepads. They're super, super cute. Um, that's what they look like. I started with these. And on the iPad, it looked great. But when I printed it out, it didn't look that awesome. So, yeah. All right, I want to share um, something with you guys that's super, super important. Um, it definitely was important for me. And it's about change, change of environment. So basically, I was for a, too long in an environment that was toxic to me. It, was, uh, it wasn't a good place for me to be at. Therefore... Um, you know, your mood changes, you feel just really sad all the time, and it's it wasn't a good place for me. Other people might find this uh, situation very normal on an everyday basis, but for me, it was no good. Um, so when I decided to open the shop, I was like, oh my God, I need a change. I want to change. I want a new space. I want to start fresh. And that's what motivated me to open the shop and um, move to the area where I'm now. So I moved um, a couple of months ago, I say, maybe five months, maybe six months. And um, once we moved here, it took me a while to let go of um, all the things that happened to me at the time. And, you know, it's, it's you get your body kind of gets used to receiving all the bad energy and the negativity and once you leave that place and you start fresh uh, sometimes it's really hard to come clean slate if you don't let go of those things so once I started letting go of everything that was bothering me and just putting it to the side 
automatically I felt so much better. Creative juices started to flow. And here I am now in a much happier place. I am in peace. I feel full of energy and I'm super motivated for my shop. You know, my mind is ready for this. I'm ready for this. Now, before I wasn't because I was in a to in a toxic environment. So, not many people talk about this and I think it's so important to express how you feel at the time you feel it. And if there is a situation where you feel like, "Oh, you cannot leave." the um toxic environment or whatever it is you're doing you could always get help it's always important to have um inner peace because there's always going to be people out there that are going to try to make your life miserable and you just have to let go because if you stay there it's just it's just a bad place you don't realize it but you chart you you start feeling so bad that you don't want to do anything and it's like you get nervous when you get to the area and that's not healthy for anybody um once I let go of all those things and I just started to enjoy what I had at the moment and the time and the space and the quiet it just changed my life completely and it's important that I talk about this because usually people just shut down and don't say anything um I'm super honest and I will talk about it and I'm just so happy I'm in a better place right now.
So let me let me know what you think. Um, I decided to um, get some fabric out of my fabric stash because once the pandemic hit and there were no masks anywhere, um, well, I started sewing masks. And now the aftermath is that I have a lot of fabric um, left over. I'm not making masks anymore. But I do have some fabric. Um, I do have some items left over from my uh, shop I had before. Um, and I, I think I'm going to make some sets, like a set of uh, mousy ears. I love them. Like, I enjoy making them so much. But right now, I'm not sure if that's what I want um, to focus on. I just have a ton of fabric and um, I do want to utilize it. And I do want to put it up because they're so pretty. And, um, I mean, I just love making them. You'll see them in the next videos. But I have um, some that I started and I never finished. Um, and I, now I can finish them and I can put them on my Etsy shop. So if you guys are interested, um, they will be available. They're going to be sets. I'm not going to, for now, I'm not going to be putting them in as an individual. I'm going to have the mask, a, a scrunchie, and the ears that match together. You're probably going to see that on the next video. So I went to Joann's. <laughs> I know I have a problem. I went to Joann's because um, I needed some elastic for uh, the masks and then I had an idea and I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. So anyway, I bought some fabric and I am making scrunchies oversized scrunchies these were so easy to come across oh my god i had so much fun making these and i was like oh my god i want to keep them all they're super super cute there's one in particular that's like a satin fabric i've heard that this um doesn't you know it prevents the hair from getting damaged or whatnot i just thought the fabric was super cute they are up on my Etsy shop and a plus, um, my Etsy shop is in the link below towards the description box. I decided to um, launch it because I've been waiting so long and I was pushing it back, pushing it back, waiting for the perfect time and I think now's the time. And um, once this video is up, um, I will post it on Instagram, letting everybody know that the shop is open. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.